Ah. I saw Moon Moon doing this. I was like, wow, that's actually really smart. You don't need to see me in correct color. And you get to see the backwards of behind the game. God damn it! You want me in full color? I can go full color. Watch this. I just remembered. What is this? Uh, enhance. You want pre game? Oh my god. Now I'm gonna get cancelled. They're watching me. That's it. It's over. I'm gonna get cancelled on Twitter again. <laughs> In case you guys don't know, I've already been banned on Twitter a couple of times. For not racist shit. For being just me. 2009 was a different time, man. Yeah. How do I go back? Okay. Do I want to abort the lobby? Yes. I want to do single player. I want to do new. And I want to select normal difficulty. The demo version of Hammer Watch 2. Hold on. Let me go back to the correct one. The, uh... Let's see. Demo version of Hammer Watch 2. Limited to the first region with a few changes compared to release. Uh, oh, workshop. So they're already planning. Oh, look. It already doesn't work. That's good. So if I click into the game, it stops functioning on stream. Yeah, I have an idea. We'll use this one instead. Wow, is this streaming fun? Isn't it great? Everything works. Look at this. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, single player. Has anyone played Hammerwatch before? It's like an action RPG. Demo version of, uh, or it's like Gauntlet. I think uh, the original Hammerwatch was more like Gauntlet, and then Hammerwatch Heroes was uh, like Diablo. Uh, so it's interesting. They have a workshop implementation, so they're probably going to do mods, right? Like player mods. Switches? Okay, switches, mods. Here we go. Normal play. No character select. You don't get to pick who you, you want to play. No, pal no paladin, no druid, no nothing. No paladin. It was the year 9708. Three huge dragons suddenly appeared out of nowhere and began to wreak havoc. Things look grim, right? Vast Aparni, there's a ro there's a, a lich. There's a king, some guy named King Roland who had a brother that took over his power. There's a necromancer, probably Sauron. Submarine attack is afraid of dragons. Don't worry about dragons. Submarine attack, you'll be fine. You are sitting at home in your apartment and there are no dragons around. Only heat waves. How you doing, man? You good? Uh, weeks later, dragons. Uh, foul fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so they attacked the oil. And then it uh, turns out that they had no nuclear weapons there. And now they are stationed a whole bunch of armies in the wrong place. Sounds very familiar. Oh, here's our character select. So I'm going to attack with the unfortunate username right now. Yeah, you guys don't have access to this one, but I, I found a really funny emote the other day. A little peepo, like, trapped underwater. I thought it was funny. You guys want it? You want that one? If you're subbed? Submarine stonks down. Let me know if you want that emote. I'll put, I'll put it into one. Or in follower or something. I saw you post that in Discord. Yeah, there was a... Uh, I thought it was funny. All right, so our character is going to be Nick. These graphics remind me of Lords of the Realm. What is Lords of the Realm? Uh, what do we have here? We got a wizard, we got a ranger, we got a wizard, and we got a ranger. Okay, so we're going to take a wizard. We're not going to take Steven. Any voice other than Steven. Ah, oh, Cockney. All right. I'm your girl. It's got the word cock in it. Must be good. I'll, I'll allow it. It's a little racist, but I'll allow it. Um, I can't, uh, I can't randomize my character. Okay, who cares? Great. Okay, there's a lot of fog. That is a very huge, that's a very large health bar. Holy shit. What are the green, what does the green mean? Wasn't Hammerwatch one of those shitty Humble Bundle games like no one ended up playing? I don't know. I played Heroes of Hammerwatch for a while. I played a uh, Necromancer, or I think they were called Warlocks in that game. It was uh, fun, even though it had no necromancy. No skeletons. Very dumbed down. Good thing I didn't fall. 
Here's a hammer watch. It's pretty fun. I don't know about one. I don't. I don't know about hammer watch one. I never played it. If you attack the planks, you can move through them. Left click to use your arcane bar. You know what they say about adventures with huge life bars? Yeah, it means they put too much health into vitality and they're fucking babies. What a bunch of pussies. Uh, new quest. Brittle walls. There's more. You can see your items, skills, and much more in the player menu. Hit the C button for character. Player menu has a few pages to help you during your adventures. This first tab lets you see your items and stats. Second tab lets you show your quests in the range from them. Third skills with skills. skills. Alright, close. But there's more. I already saw this. If you attack the planks, you can... I saw this already. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of different skills in this game. Ha Heroes of Hammerwatch only had like three skills for your characters. Phase shift. You phase forward through time. You know how much I love time magic. I don't. Okay, cool. I'm sure at some point that'll come back to bite me in the ass. I didn't read that. Can't go in there. So you can like, you can actually like break down the walls and stuff. That's interesting. But how do you tell? How do you tell if it's breakable? Oh shit. Mushrooms? You know, pick them up. Pick that shit up. You never know. We're playing Skyrim. We're going to pick up everything. Is there a way to make this brighter? Because this is dark as fuck. Game. There's a lot of stuff here. Looters! Any looters in chat? Sure. Graphics? Frame limit, 60. I, if, I, if I leave it any higher, my computer is going to take off into the stratosphere. Uh, nah, it's too lazy to be a looter. Yeah, I know that feeling, man. Let's turn off. Uh, make sure the glow is n is on no. Bloom is on no. X-ray is on yes. We love X-ray. Actually, you can't turn it on. Environment detail max. All right, here we go. Brightness. Move that up a little bit. Yeah, just, just a tad. Just a little just a little tab. Except I can't see anything. It's too dark. Too dark. It's too dark. Your game's too dark. Press F to hit the button. It opens elsewhere. What do you mean it opens elsewhere? There's plenty of things to interact with in the game. Buttons, doors, NPCs. In this case, you have several prison doors that are locked. Some from a button close by that you'll have to find with a key. Oh, key. I love keys. You know what they say about keys. If there's a key, there's a door. I love kicking open doors. There's a key. Is that that thing on the bench? fucked up. It was right in front of me the entire time. I didn't even look. I'm shaking with rage right now. Oh, but I can't go in here. What the hell? Oh, that's like a note. How do I, uh... I can't go through here either. What the fuck? I'm already lost. Two seconds in, it's over. Ugh! My eyes! It's fine. This, uh, was I wrong? Can I go through this door? Ah, uh, here we go. Button. <gasps> I press the button. Does the door open now? Aha. A simple robe. Let us equip it. Uh. I have no idea what any of this stuff means. Equip. Now I want to throw this away. Into the... Oh, I picked it up right away. Immediately picked it up. A simp robe. For sub. Alright, quest complete. Brittle walls. Hello. Ah, I was actually just going to leave, but when I heard the roar from the dying dragon, I decided to see if you were... If you'd show up. Oh, this is his lore. I don't need his lore. I need the quest. Enter. Well, maybe he doesn't have anything. Doesn't have a quest. He has no quests. Turn to the docks. Okay, no problem. We're gonna go. We're going. 
We're going to the docks. If only I knew how to get to the docks. Not, not only do I not know where they are, don't know how to get there. Oh, here we go. Whoa, question mark. Demo guy, welcome to the demo of Hammerwatch 2. This is a uh, very small part. Yep, dicks. Yep. This is a very small part of the f of the full game. If you wish to know more about how to play and what's different, please click the button. F? Or this. Ah. Uh, a lot of questions that can be solved. Sure. When you die, you lose money. Okay. There's a few additions that have been added to the island, which are placed in the full version. I'm sure. I'm sure. We'll figure it out. Chat, we're not stupid. We'll figure it out. Our brains are functioning. Fully functioning brains. You're back and alive. Most likely thanks to the potion I made. If you need another potion, uh, I'll be glad to make you one. I need a flask and a few amaryllis. Amaranths. Can you get me those? Sure. Can I hand this in right away? Oh shit, staircase? Let's go. Cool. No second floors for any of these buildings, huh? About to enter a town. Here you can rest from your travels and buy food and gear. And you get a respawn point. Oh, here's Amarils. Amarils. Just loot this guy's fucking front lawn of all of his stuff. No problem. I've seen I've had that happen before. Wow, those are nice flowers you got. And you come back the next day and they're gone. What the hell? Where'd they go? Boy. Grandmother Minova. I know my grandchild Bridget arrived with the same ship you did uh, when you went to slay World Fire. She was supposed to deliver me some fine wine from the mainline. mainland. I'm not sure where she wandered her off to. If you see her, tell her to, del to deliver. She's wearing a red hood. All right, write that down, Chad. Red hood. What's up? I need you to be my quest guy. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna write down everything I tell you to write. Well, I guess, sir, I usually stand guard around here, but the pirates keep stealing our weapons, even if we make new ones. But someone needs to keep the wolf population around the island down. You think you can do that? Oh, man, I love fucking quests where you just gotta do eight, eight of something. Bozar, hello. We're playing uh, Hammer Watch 2, even though there is a Hammer Watch 2. Call, call Heroes of Hammerwatch. <laughs> they fucked up. They named it another. They gave it another number. Uh, Angar, the pirates are constantly raiding us, and I'm sick and tired of it. It would I would be overjoyed to see some of those washbuggling casuals take other. All right, kill some pirates, no problem. I don't need this fucking. Oh, dude, everyone has a quest. Everyone, the whole fucking town is in trouble. Oh god, my Merlock lungs. I need some. Find some signs. Sure. What do you got? No one is buying anything, especially not you. Oh, something about beetles. Okay. Kill the beetles, no problem. Uh, where's the map? This guy too has a fucking quest. Look at this. It's like overloaded with quests. Quest book is just quests. You know, I just completed the repairs on the, on the Emmy when the pirates came back for another raiding party. Among the things that took was the toolbox I used, so now I can't get back to work. I can start my workshop. Okay. I like the demo when got 15, 16, about to start. The English voices don't line up with the English modeled lips. It's because they do them with uh, in Japanese first, right? You do their uh, modeling in Japanese. The cost would be a thousand gold. For what? They're synced to English? Normally, what the modeling here is English. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't play it. I, also, the amount of time that I paid attention to it was very little. Very little. Very little. Looks like God of War. Looks like God of War with uh, Final Fantasy's names attached to it. That's what it looks like. I'm sure someone finds it enjoyable. You switched to English out of frustration with the lip sync. So wait, they modeled, so it's the audio, the audio tracks are fucked. Is that what it is? Wow, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I can't get anything. Excuse me, ghost streamer. What the fuck is this? This is Hammer Watch 2. It's an action RPG in the vein of Diablo 2. Uh, or Hammer Watch 1. <laughs> you played that one. Pretty cool. I mean, so far it's pretty cool. It's got 
a fire. It's got a wizard and a fireball. Hammerwatch two, awesome. Yeah, it's Hammerwatch two. Yeah, Hammerwatch is fun as hell. It's uh, I think so far, so so far it plays more like uh, Heroes of Hammerwatch than it does Hammerwatch one. I, play, I remember playing Hammerwatch one a long, long time ago, and Hammerwatch one was more like Gauntlet. It had enemies coming out like out of uh, walls and generators and stuff. In this game, Her Heroes of Hammerwatch is more like a uh, action RPG, like a uh, more uh, traditional action RPG. So far, that's what this feels like. And it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good to play. Pretty good. Diablo 2, not Diablo 3. Uh, well, I don't know. Hi Heroes of uh, Hammer Watch was made. Was it made before Diablo 3? But it's got like. It has a lot of similarities. Your skills are, you don't have like a skill tree. You have like all your skills baked in and you just level up passives. Uh, dungeons are done through rifts. So like you go into a rift and it's like a never ending dungeon that goes down. Oh, uh, here we go. We have it. We're in a dungeon right now. Look at that. Sick map. Oh shit, pirates. Come here, you little bitch. Fuck you. Magic missile. You think if I, if you think if I shoot this TNT barrel, it's going to blow up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, it sucks, but I think it's worse right now seeing English lips lined up lined up with the English. <laughs> Wouldn't it be worse if he's changing the Japanese? Because then it'll it'll actually be out of sync, right? Well, I, it's a different language, so you can like imagine that it isn't. Holy shit! What is going on, dude? My health bars are gone. Health bars are gone. It's gone. Oh, some kind of shield. What a spaceport. Oh, that's an escape skill. All right, all right, we're learning. Oh, cloth slippers. Let's put those shit on. He gives uh, 12 something and makes you run the same. I'm sure it's good. Oh, fuck, I got to sneeze. It looks like a polished hammer wand. Yeah, it does. It feels good. Oh. Uh, so where can I use a potion? Are there potions in this game? Left control. Oh, okay. That's like a quick menu. Health is just recovering on its own. So that's not too bad. But I don't know if there's like a uh, potion ability, potion thing. Oh, here. Maybe apples. Oh yeah, there we go. Ripped fabric. You've just gained a level. You have attribute and skill points that you can use to upgrade your character. Oh, here we go. Oh, so the so that uh, it's like the stat points that it gives is like literally intel increased intelligence. So having the simple robe equipped it gives you twelve. Having the cloth slippers gives you twelve. And then these ones don't give you anything. Okay, so what do these do? What do these uh, stats do? This like, gives health, and this gives blue stuff. So it's red stuff, blue stuff, and then movement speed. It's interesting. Yeah, we'll do we'll do some of that. And then we also got a skill point. We have one star. Can I can I buy any of these? All oh, these cost two. Conjures protect the barrier around you. Okay, we figured that one out. Cast spells from your grimoire. Okay, that's just pa that's just damage. Arcane bolt, launch a bolt of arcane energy that explodes and does main hand damage. So this is the one that we're using. Increase the size, increase speed. Fires additional projection projectiles, but costs more mana. That's the teleports. Okay, let's upgrade this here. We'll just put one point in there. Boom, a little bit more damage. Yeah, you left click on things and they are faster. It's good. Maybe I should always just have this barrier thing up. Thick, gr thick grimoire of refreshment. 
Blast nearby enemies with arcane damage, dealing offhand damage, and it does 40 frost. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure that's good. I think it's this, right? It's the it's the look it's the right click. Yeah, this fucking spell doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Get away from me! So wait, I can't go down? Oh, there we go. So these are like steps. Not like steps, they are steps. Stupid. They just go down. Oh shit, there's a cannon. Can I operate this? Fire! Magic missile! Doesn't do anything. Huh. What? Get away from me. Oh my god. Sadly, the adventure is dead, but this is not the end. You have options on where to continue. Choose where to rebirth. Time will pass and gold will be lost. So I can either start at Hearth's Landing. I guess that's the that's the hub, right? So then you lose seven hours. I guess uh, the time, there's like an internal clock for the game where I can resurrect in question mark. Let's go to question mark. See where that goes. Uh, it just starts in the beginning. <coughs> Does it, uh, does it reset the dungeon? No, it doesn't. Okay. There's a button behind the door. I'm gonna assume that's how you open it. It's over here. Hello? Ah! Are you fucking serious? The, like they bounce and shit? Oh my god, dude, the wizard has like no health. He takes three, it th takes three hits and he dies. This is like, this is Hammerwatch. It's like identical to Hammerwatch one, it's the same shit. Give your character self like no health. Or, uh, no, sorry, not Hammerwatch, uh, Heroes of Hammerwatch. You, you start the game, your character's just garbage. Oh, F. I need a pan. I'm sure you do. What does this do? I need a toolbox. So you can, like, cook food and you can make stuff. Uh, you never heard of uh, Heroes of Hammerwatch before 10 minutes ago? Yeah, it was their, it was their second game. It had, like, a bunch of classes. There was a, there was a whole bunch of DLC for it, too. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure it was pretty. I'm pretty sure it was popular. I don't think it wasn't popular. I know the first one nobody really played. I don't think the first one a lot of people played it. It was more of a couch co op game, I think. Heroes was fully online. I forgot the name of Hammerwatch. You played it a little back in the day. Yeah. I think it's just one of those games that. Emily said this too before. It's. I think Hammerwatch is like one of those games that everyone got in a humble bundle and then just never played it. <clears throat> they try I know they tried to sell Steam they'll do like those four player packages on Steam right and they tried to do that I think and at some point I'm sure they I'm sure that's what happened so everyone had a friend that bought into that four player pack for 20 bucks and they were like let's play this game and then you played it once I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan of this, like, uh, point-blank ice skill. I think it's getting me more killed more than often. More often than not. I think I got it as a recommendation from somebody for, like, a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what ended up happening. What does this do? I know for I know for me, well, that's what, what happened with me was uh, one of my friends bought the four-player pack, and we played it for a day. We were like, wow, this is pretty cool, and then we never played it again. How do I get there? How do I get there? Picked up a lot of dollar games back in the game just to see what they were. 
Yeah. Uh. Okay, well, I can't go up there. I can't kill these guys, though. Die. Die. Oh. That's what the Humble Bundle is good for. Humble Bundle, man, it used to be like legitimately 30, you pay 35 cents and you would get like 40 games. <laughs> and some of them would be good and you'd be like, wow, this game's sick. And you'd buy the sequel, you know, four years later. And uh, not 38 out of 40 of them were just duds. Oh, is the shield on cooldown? Okay. Oh, my health bar. Mm. Gold. For sure, humble humble monthly is totally worth it. Uh, more often than not, yeah, I think they give you. I think it's like three picks, right? Is that how that works? Is it three picks now for the like the lowest amount? And it's usually it's usually like high cost of games too. It's not like it's not like dollar uh, bar. It's not like bargain bin games that you will find anymore, right? They they try to pack it with like good stuff. <laughs> What's this do? I need a pan. Okay. All right, survivability has increased tenfold with the use of the magic shields. You get like a 10 or 12, I thought, but it had to be, it had, it's, uh, you've had it for a long time. It's definitely gr uh, grandfathered in. Yeah, I don't remember, I remember there was one humble, bu humble month, month, like humble bun, humble bundle month that the, um, there were at least two games in that pack and it was like 10 bucks. It's like 10, what is it? $10, $15 or something. I was like, it's worth, it's worth it more for me to sign up to humble bundle for the one month to pick up these two games than to if I were to buy them at Steam, even if they were on discount. And uh, they didn't give me the option of taking like all of them. I had to pick which ones I wanted. It's 11 for you. Yeah, it's probably like 15 Canadian. Oh shit, big level up. We'll put more in the brain power. A, little, a tiny little bit in the muscles. A little bit in the muscles. Just a little bit. So how, many sp how many points do I have? Five points? And I buy Arc Lightning. How come I can't buy it? You used to be uh, choose 10 of the following 12, and some months were only eight, so you get all of them. Oh, yeah, maybe that maybe that's what it was. I, I All I remember is that you have to pick which ones you wanted. I don't remember the exact number. How come I can't um, buy this spell? Maybe I need to put more points into this. So the cooldown doesn't change with levels? What does this do? Oh, this is the teleports? Increases the size of the explosion. Increases the speed and range. Give me bigger bullets. I know in the, uh, I know in Heroes you have to like pay to unlock these ranks. Maybe that's the same, maybe it's the same case for this. Usually there's at least one game per month worth getting and chances are it costs more than 12. The thing is, is that you have to, you have to play them, right? How often, how often does it happen that you sign up for Humble Bundle? You, you get your game that you wanted and then you just don't play any of them. Cause that happened a lot with me. <clears throat> 
Why pay 12 when Blockbuster exists? Emily, some of us work. We have access to money. Blockbuster is a lot more convenient though. <laughs> Dude, you can go to gog-games.com. It's perfect in every way. Well, except for the stuff that isn't on there. You know, what are you gonna do? What are the... Oh, this is this shit. This up. Green beetle scale. Oh, shit. Downstairs. These guys have, like, Yu-Gi-Oh haircuts? Or are they hats? Oh, fuck. Dude, Captain. Stop. And... Oh shit, what's this? Pirate Captain's Scarf. What? Huh? Is it not a thing? Oh, here it is. I have two of them. So these are what? Crafting materials? What does it say? The tooltip pops up for like a second. Oh, it's because it's hovering over something else. Okay, so none of this is done anything. Oh shit, fruit. I need a key. Chat, write that down, need a key. It looks like a trident. I think the sink was uh, Elgato's fault. You hate the gating, the grading English accent, so I'll do with reverse Godzilla. Do you think there are do you think there are any movies that are like well I guess every single <laughs> any mo any movie made in English and then they dubbed into other things they get that right they get the reverse Godzilla. Never thought of it. Never thought of it from their perspective. Turns out I'm a bigot. A sextant. What the fuck am I supposed to do with one of those? Oh shit. So this gives armor? Sure. Source 30 mana. Sextant. Displays your position on the regional world map. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Gotta use the shield. Going. Carrots, see me. my god all right we've been what half an hour we're half an hour in i think we have an idea of what hammer watch 2 is uh wish list what do you guys think thumbs up thumbs down who be sending messages